Hello, friends. Welcome to Grim Dark James Warhammer Fantasy Dirk and Ludger Part Seven. Last time, uh, a bad blue horror, pink horror, pink horror showed up, and now uh, our plan is to run away. You got cliffhangered by me because I cliffhangered James by casting Blessing on Protection on both of us like a genius. It is now harder to attack us. Spoon has informed me, though, that he can run faster than me. True. It's a it's a old Bogenhofen saying, you know, I don't have to run faster than you to get away from the pink horror. I or sorry, I don't have to run faster than the pink horror. I just have to run faster than you. Oh, I butchered that. But admittedly, this is my first time in Bogenhofen, so. All right. So, um, it looks like in terms of your, um, the, your fear spoon with the only mm -hmm. mar with only marginal failure, it doesn't, it doesn't force your action. It just gives you minus one successful on all tests targeted at the source of your fear. Gotcha. So this thing has appeared and the first so, so i want to be clear it's in the middle of the room you guys are either side of it because one person's at the doorway one person's the other side of the room it's got enough eyes on it that it's looking at both of you although its body is more rotated towards um uh spoon towards uh, well, spoon is in the room right and i'm outside yeah. the room yeah because i yeah. i have just picked up a like a like a handkerchief right yes that's right yeah so white silver handkerchief from the order um, of the seven order of sept or something the Ordo Septenarius. Yeah. And the first, so for its action, the pink horror on the spot jumps up and down, screams, gibbers, waves its, its gangrenous limbs at you, you know, lightning cracking along it. it. It effectively just spends its first action intimidating. That's a reasonable role for it, though. It's, it, it's, it's, you know, it, it, it would, it would almost be comical if it wasn't so, so frightening, uh, like, like so primarily frightening. But it, it jumps up and down in the spot like a petulant child, um, gibbering. It just says yes over and over again. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go to your actions now. Uh, I'm booking it for the door. I'm outside the door, so I book it for the other, right? My recollection is there was a crossroads with a door that was, like, semi-trapped or something. We got through that, came to the crossroads, found blood. I think we might have found a skeleton. We found this room off of there. So my my plan is to get back to the other door. Yeah, so, so you're about, on the map, you're about here. So you don't. Oh, we got a map. Crossroads. It's, it's, it's a little bit back from the crossroads on as the map is on the north side of the canal. Sure. Um, like the crossroads within sight. Um, but yeah, so it, it's sort of in, in this area. This is where the river's here, basically. Sure. Um, all right. So you're you're so spirit. I imagine because the, the direct path to the door is right past it. I imagine you're trying to because it's a circular room. You're trying to skirt the outside edge of the room. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No worries. And, and there um, was like a summoning circle or something, right? So I don't want to step yeah, inside. It, 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 yeah, it's right in the middle of that, basically. Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, look, it, it steps towards you in an intimidating way enough to make you feel that it's not bound to the center of the circle. Like, it, you know, sure. it sort of leaves the very center, but it doesn't It doesn't come more than about sort of five feet from you as you skirt around it. As you get near the door, um, it, it yells at you in the, in the language of demons, um, which, you know, you're your brain can't make sense of the words that are coming out of it but somehow deep down like at a primal sense you know it basically said and stay out in demonic oh i thought it was trying to sell him a timeshare <laughs> <laughs> but it but it doesn't pursue you beyond the uh the edge of the the other door of the room okay obviously my blessing chased it away that's what i believe Power Sigmar. Okay. Um, so yeah, we get outside. Uh, yes. I, I mean, I feel like Dirk is going to keep running for a little while. Um, <laughs> I'm running until at least we get to the lockable door. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that's only that's only like twenty feet. So. Good. My understanding though is that the lock is on the wrong side of the door. 
but I still want to try to lock it on the way out on the assumption this thing might not quickly be able to discern how human locks work. Well, let me ask you, you, you get to the lockable door before Dirk does. No, I'm not going to shut it in his face. <laughs> that's not the fact. He'd be on the side of his lip to lock himself anyway, but yeah, that's fine. We're just, we're just establishing the quality of your character. I'm a good person. Yeah, so I, mean, I. I just don't want to get killed by... I, I, I'm not questioning you. I mean, again, I am, you know, a priest of Sigmar, and I have used my power to suppress the peasantry, but that's like normal in this universe, you know? It's dark. It's not grim dark, but it's dark. Yeah. We're cops. And we've done a really bad job. <laughs> yeah. um, We're currently being chased by Lil Satan, <laughs> which is something most cops don't have to deal with. So at some point, the two of you regather your wits. You know, let's, let's say you come a, a bit further a bit back. Hey, around, I never lost my wits. I think running away from a demon is the wit the wittiest thing you can do. I did <clears throat> so like uh Ludger takes a deep breath and he says, I did run away from the demon after casting a blessing of protection upon you. It is Sigmar's power that got us to where we're at. Sigmar protects. Let's hope so. Doesn't seem like it's following. I don't think no. so. Yeah, I've just remembered I have a German, a fake German accent. It comes and goes, you know? It's like the Scarlet Witch in uh, the WandaVision series, which has got, like, three different accents. That's me. Okay. I'm gonna run a hand through my white blonde hair and go, Oh, this seems like something that my cousin would get involved with. You know, my cousin who's the coach... Of a team that currently is worshipping the god Haster. No. Hashet. Hashet. Has Haster is Cthulhu. The king in yellow. Yes. <clears throat> well, I seem to be uh, staying in that room, but I did grab this and I will produce the white silk handkerchief and look at it. Okay. So, it, I believe it's monogrammed. Let me just double check just the mayor's name it's not even like initials it's just his full name title and address <laughs> this this handkerchief belongs to the mayor who is a chaos worshiper <laughs> uh fs fs yeah does I'm that okay oh, i was gonna say does that sound like any initials we've heard so far about might suspect like out of character not, yeah not, not not relevant to the um this game like I'm, I'm sure your people probably know people in the initial fs but uh not not, not that you've met that's relevant to this campaign okay come on Moon. Moon, i'd like you to just make me a perception roll please as well sure not perception now what is it uh in the system awareness uh no it, it actually is it actually is perception here is in the school of perception Oh, there you go. It's two. Wow. Impressive failure. Okay, no worries. Disregard. I just want to double check that we've brought something from the dead goblin to prove that we killed the goblin. Yes. Uh, yes. You got the pelvis. The pelvis is probably. Yes, the yes, three, yes. Spoon three, got three, it. Three, yeah, three jointed pelvis is probably the most likely thing to. Uh, right. <laughs> so it's it's not just any any goblin pelvis. It's a three legged goblin pelvis. Uh so I will tuck away the handkerchief again, uh, and then like, all right, we need to get the heck out of here. We must go to the church. It is clear that there is black heresy here, enough that we may want to summon Alprecht Kessel, witch hunter. And guy who kind of doesn't like me. Uh, but rather than talk about it, I leave. Haven't he left town? Yes, yes, but it was probably just to accidentally kill his prisoner in transit. You know how it goes. We've all done it before. 
Yeah, of course. We've had a chaos worshiper. We want to get rid of them. They have a right to a trial. They try to escape on the road. You have to kill them in the middle of the night under suspicious circumstances, but there's no one to investigate it. And why would they? It's a chaos worshiper. Of course. I think he'll be back sooner rather than later. Well, do we go all the way back to the place where we came in, or do we try and find an exit close? I think it would be terrible folly for us to wander around in these sewers. We don't know them, I agree. and there is a pink horror wandering around. It's pretty horrible, and very pink. It had a lot of eyes as well. Yeah, but that's kind of normal for chaos monsters. Is that something they teach you in... Uh... Oh yeah, no, I listen. I was listening to a reading by David Attenborough about the Tyranid Bioswarm life cycle just earlier in the church. I say this as I'm like leaping from one side of the sewer to the other. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so so I think we make our way back to um uh, was it over here that we came in? Yeah, we came in somewhere down over here right yeah that's right yeah, yeah. yeah. But the closest place to where the um i think you were let's go back to the map, the map sorry uh you came in like yeah, somewhere, somewhere near it's like a place. difficult to get in storm drain yeah, something because the, the small the smallest thinner things were only like they're like pipes that the person can, can crawl through but i think you came in like in one of the proper, proper sections like here you gotta let those sewage fumes out all right yeah. um so oh, it's gonna take you take an athletics check for at least one person to get out. Because uh, remember, they they they, they, they they effectively dropped a rope down, mm -hmm. um, and then they they pulled it back up and closed the manhole behind you. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, I think Dirk will volunteer unless Luger stops him. Because I, oh. I have I have a forty four athletics. No, please, please. I have some way of assisting you i will do it but yeah so i mean look you can uh uh you can certainly give him a boost up you stand on your shoulders so i'll give him plus 20 the athletics check for that excellent anything that involves very little danger to me i need okay. the boost yeah okay so he, he boosts you up to the point you sort of get your body into the 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 pipe of the of the manhole cover and, and then able to climb the, the metal rung ladder mm -hmm. uh and then um yeah you use your back you're going to sort of push you back against the uh the manhole and use the whole sort of pipe as leverage to lift it off um but uh yeah you manage to clear the manhole cover and okay. uh presumably well, I'll, I'll just say you you know give uh look your hand up onto the ladder to get both of you climb out it's now um, early evening, um, probably about seven to between seven and eight p.m. You don't have you don't have a watch to know exactly. I'm going to start power walking towards the church. Okay. We need to inform the authorities about this. See if we can figure out who FS is, and go down there to cleanse uh, the pink horror. Plus, investigate the area further. So I will start heading to my local priest, whose name I did not... Oh, Vilmar Hagel? Got it right. I will head to my local priest, whose name may or may not be Vilmar Hagel. No matter what it is, I'm heading there. Power walking. Oh, and it should be mentioned, we need to clean ourselves and all of our gear off because we've been in the sewers. In the sewers, yeah. Yeah, we're going to smell bad. We don't want the criminals to hear us coming. <laughs> Imagine being Batman, but you actually smell like you live in a bat cave. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um... So I just, I just... Oh, yeah, we uh... should probably toss the three pelvis to the to a guard somewhere so that we can get our payment well, gave us that mission just, just giving to a, giving it to a random guard in the streets not yeah, gonna get you paid yeah we, we, we've <laughs> got to take it back to um to like the guard house which is like yeah either, the, i think it's either this one or this one yeah yeah uh, yeah to the mattress office which is here 
Which is quite near the church. Yeah, yeah. We can do that after we get cleaned up then. Sure. We gotta get paid. We do have to get paid. How else can we can we make our tithings to the church if we don't have any money? Sure. So church is a place? Yeah. First place? Mm hmm Okay, no worries. Um so I wanna say the church never closes. Um, but it is to the point sort of like there, like there's no services being offered at this, at this time, basically, there's probably just, uh, so I'd say, you know, the main priest has gone home, um, and you've now got like just lay priests there who are tending to people that come in to pray at night time, basically. Uh, it's probably a little busier than all because of the Sharpen Fest. Um, yeah, people, everyone's basically waiting for midnight. Um, and so people are staying up and it's like, oh, I've got nothing to do, I may as well go to church and pray. Oh, for their um, untaxable farm trades? Yes, yes. Right, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so so the priest you spoke with earlier, uh, once once you ask, he's, he's gone home for the night. Um, and there's a, a young woman there who is, well, let's say, probably late 20s, um, who is effectively the highest ranking priest here. For, uh, for the for the for the saving onwards. Okay. Um. Okay. You know, I address her respectfully but quickly, and I'll give, I'll give you a name for her. She okay. is. Uh... Are her initials FS? <laughs> well, if I randomly generate one, then yes. Let's see. I see. Uh, her name is. Uh, no, R Ramona Mathis. Ramona Mathis. Um, Priest Mathis, and I gesture yeah. for my companion to produce the silk kerchief and the pelvis bone. Uh, I produce the, I, I will, ho I will hold them both up. Okay. We were tracking the three-legged goblin, uh, that was part of the Zucopia for Schaffenfest, and we managed to find a secret temple in the sewers, it appears to be one to the Lord of Chain. There's, so there's there's no issue in Warhammer Fantasy with to Zinch. Yeah. Okay, and then I described the octogram, the candlestick, the unlit black candle, the copper ring, the symbol of the horned beast head, the words Ordo Septenarius, and I gesture to a silk handkerchief that says FS. And as I round it out, I mention that a horned fanged demon with glowing eyes, the pink horror, chased us out of the area. This is a very serious situation. Might I and my companion be able to clean ourselves up before we gather a suitable militia to? take this creature to task uh so while before i responded on her behalf can i ask both of you please to make a perception roll okay she's in on it she's one of them spoon it's actually just that someone's sneaking up behind us to hit us in the head hey marginal success success okay so um Certainly, like when when you show her the initially the the goblin pelvis, she's you know surprised because she hasn't heard about this three legged goblin escape, and a three legged pelvis looks weird. Like it's it's the it's that 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 oh that, that that's a, that's a, what the hell's going on type of face. Yeah, it's, when it's you mutants. when you mention the presence of Zeech, um, there is like a like something about her uh, demeanor changes somewhat. So. Almost to like a like it's 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 initial it's shock initially, followed by sort of like a a, a, a resolution or a uh, I mean like like somebody whose concerns have suddenly been justified. Um, that uh, it, it, it's it's more than just like you know, anyone else going. Zeech is in town. What the hell? She's more like you know. I knew it. I knew Zeech was in town, and now now this this person has confirmed it for me. Uh, that that that's the countenance you get from her as you're talking to her. So oh, hold on. She's the main character of her own show, and we're from the spin-off show? And this is our <laughs> guest episode? Jesus, James, you could have just let me know. Who are we bringing on this call? <laughs> uh, 
I, well, um, yes, of, of course you can, you can wash up here. Uh, as for, uh, I mean, militia, we need to get, we need to summon the, the town guards to deal with this. Uh, we don't have a, next. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have a warrior priest in this church or any warrior priest, so we will need to we will need the help of the magistrate's forces. There's no other witch hunters. The witch hunter we had in town, uh, he left today, I think. Do you know anyone important or wealthy or suspicious with the initials FS? Ninety nine, James. Yep. Ninety nine. Yeah. This is how it's gonna go down. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we a second. Um... You're gonna point us in the wrong direction. You're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, my baker, Frederick Studebaker." <laughs> Let's go get him. Um... We get there, and he's barely hanging on. He's got like a wooden butcher's block, and that's it. And it clearly doesn't own a silk handkerchief. Uh, it could be uh, Falco Schmidt, the head of the Agriculture Committee. He's he is uh, uh, obviously today's an important day for him, or tonight, whatever. He his initials are FS. I've never seen him carry a silk handkerchief, but he's an important man whose initials are FS. Hmm. I'm not willing to condemn yeah, anyone. We'll yeah, we'll de we'll 100% investigate this guy. Okay, all right. There's no reason for us to not believe this, but you know, like literally anyone could have dropped yeah. this handkerchief. That's you know what I mean? Someone right. visiting from out of town. She's about to tell everyone that she knows that Falco Schmidt, the head of the agriculture committee, is in a league with Zeke. By the way, you can tell that she's like, you know, I 100% stop her from doing that, and I'm just like, <laughs> this is an inquisition. We must move quietly and quickly. And we must also go take a bath right now. <laughs> Rather than tell everyone about Falco Schmidt, why don't you have two regular, two lay priests keep an eye on him tonight and you go gather the local watch so that by the time we are done bathing, we are ready to go back into the sewers once again. Uh, I'm now realizing there's no point to this. And I go, you know what? We're just going to go over to the militia office right now. Just hang out here for a minute. And for real, though, I know you're my superior, but I really don't think it's Falco Schmidt. But we should keep an eye on him just in case. Okay. I, I'll make sure that uh, I send I send some of the lay priest to go watch for him okay excellent i'm just on a mission from god i put on some sunglasses and i head to the police station okay. <laughs> um all right you uh you reach the magistrate's office um it uh is once again in like the the closed up but with guard still present um motif of you know evening practice you know mm -hmm. the, the the main magistrate is gone there is a deputy in charge, um, but uh, yeah, you are. Uh, once they said that, once they stop, once they, once they decide not to run you off because you're uh, clearly uh, vagrants who've been in the sewers, then they realize you know that you actually have something. Really I literally am wearing a massive warhammer of Sigmar. I'm just like, <clears throat> I gesture to the pelvis again, and I say. We were sent on a quest to find the goblin with the three legs. Oh, yes, the mutant yes. that escaped in yes. the sewers. Yes, we'd like to get our payment, oh, and also... Okay, so, so, okay, so when, you, when you said, like, they, they, like the, the, the guy um, laughs, he's like, I think you're a bit late, friend. What are you talking about? The goblin was already found. Well, what was left of it? Who's, uh... Really, I would uh, love to meet whoever it was that uh, beat us to the punch. Uh, well, it was a, a local uh, longshoreman found the head of the goblin in his in his warehouse and brought it to well, us. As a... Hold on a moment. The head of the goblin. That could just be the head of any goblin. 
Doctor, uh, what's his name? The what was it? What was the long stupid name of the uh... Doctor Methusius. Methusius, yes. He he did confirm it was his goblin. Well, we have a three-legged pelvis right here from a different location. All right. Um, you better come inside. We need to yeah. sort this out. You're uh, you're taken to um, Deputy Cosman, who is uh, in in charge here this evening, uh, and uh, he sort of sat at a sat at a table where he's sort of working. Um, he he. he once the situation is explained to him, he turns to one of the guards and says, uh, "Is there any word yet on the on the magistrate? Is he feeling better?" We've had we've had no word, sir, since uh, since he left today. Send send someone to his house. He uh, I think he'd want to be involved in whatever's going on here. The other guy leaves. Who is the magistrate? Uh, magistrate is uh, sorry, what do I don't have uh, magistrate Richter. He he took ill earlier today. Well, and head, and head home. now that we have a moment of privacy with the, the person in charge, Deputy Cosman, you should know that bringing this goblin in is not the reason why we are here. Although we do want to get paid for that. There is a demon in the sewers. There was a ritual site, a cult activity for Zinch. We require men to go down there help us surround and destroy it the church is prepared to send some lay persons as well you should begin preparing with all haste very well um can you show us on the map where this where this was do you i think we map of the sewers or of the yep. city yeah well he shows you map of the sewers anyway yeah yeah, we know where it is, right? Roughly, so. Yeah, more or less. Does this location have any significance? Um, I, not that I know of, it's just one of the, I mean, look, we used to patrol the sewers. I, I've never heard of anything like you described, uh, but we- It was uh, behind a locked door that we were able to open. Uh, all right. It might be easiest if you gentlemen were to lead us there. Yep. All right. All right. But uh, we should wait here a little bit to see what the word is on the magistrate. So please make yourselves comfortable. His, his, his apartment's not too far away. We should. The other guard should be back within 20 minutes. Do you have somewhere where we could uh, clean up a little bit? Uh, we don't, uh, I mean, let's just say that they have a buck, a bucket of water will do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, like as I say, this is, this is like, you know, where all the guards get ready for their shifts. So I imagine there would be some sort of basic mechanisms for self self maintenance. So sure. They've got, they've got, they've got the equivalent of a locker room, you know, that <clears throat> yeah. you can use to, to wash up. Not, you know, we're not talking like hot and cold running water. We're just talking like, you know, uh, a, 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 a cleaning trough, which is regularly changed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yes, but I want not like sitting in this filth. Yes, but I want to also make sure that the guards are like putting on armor and preparing weapons. Oh yeah, like, yeah. So if uh, the magistrate doesn't show up in twenty minutes, right? Like we're still going. Give, give me perception rolls just to read the to read the. Uh, the Damn it, James! Why do you ask us to roll things in a situation in a system where we basically will fail over half the time, but we did we it. Both succeed. But we didn't. <laughs> he did. Marginal success. Yeah. Um, so they're taking this moderately seriously. So they're not t they're not taking it seriously as you probably think they should, but it's also a case of they've got nothing to go on except your word. There's a hidden hidden demon in the sewers. So hidden de hidden demon can't be ignored. Has to be dealt with. Do they believe that's what they'll find? Probably. You know, they're probably skeptical. But, you know, it's one of those things that they can't ignore until they'll have to go and investigate. And you know, if, if, if they don't find a hidden demon, you can sh sh bet your ass you guys will be spending a night in the prison wasting their time. Sure. 
um, see you clean up. Um, and uh, 20 minutes later, uh, word comes from the guard that the, the magistrate is in no condition to um, uh, to, to come. He's, the, the doctor is at his house. He's, uh, uh, he's delirious. His tongue is swollen. Um, yeah, he, he's mm-hmm. not in the way, but, but, the, but the good doctor is with him. Listen, Spoon, I'm going to throw this out here. This sounds like a prelude to an attack on the city. You know what I mean? Like, cult activity, magisters out, anyone who could fight it has recently left the city. There's going to be a ton of... Massive festival with a ton of people in a small area, like... Well, we better hurry then. I'm saying this out of character. Yeah, yeah. I guess I I partially say it in character too, um, and just tell the deputy deputy Cosman, I believe that there may be an attack on the city tonight. You know what? I'm going to I'm just going to throw it out here. Midnight sounds like a pretty good time, very ritualistic time. So let's just make sure all the guards are awake and alert and ready. Or something that might happen. Will it happen? I don't know. But these s- s- circumstances are suspicious, to say the least. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to imagine in real life. If you walked into a police station and told the police that everybody on everyone watching like, because there might be an attack on the city, because of you know, and, could, and, and because you've seen things that they haven't seen. Yes, but um, also I want to remind you that in real life, I'm not capable of calling upon the powers of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are, but it's just nothing would happen. That's a very complicated discussion I'm not willing to have happen, but I can literally make objects glow with Sigmar's holy light and turn them magical. You know what I mean? Like yes. this isn't some random person coming in off the street. I'm a I'm a initiate priest of Sigmar, but and the guy standing next to me is clearly not nobody. He's a noble. Right? We're not, we're obviously not just like drunk random vagrants showing up. We're people of status and power, real power. A little bit. Compared to the guards? I mean, you remember our one and only fight we've had so far? I said status and power, not physical capability. Okay. Sure, that's fair. I wouldn't want to walk into a police station and be like, you should follow me because of how juiced I am, bro. <laughs> That's how you know you can trust me. I'm, I'm fucking swole, which means I'm trustworthy. So, James, I, uh, listen, if they don't want to believe us because we're telling them that uh, the boy who cried wolf, that's fine. But I feel like, it. on the other hand, it's really reasonable in a world of magic that a priest shows up and is like, hey, I found a fucking demon. Uh, we need people to go fight it. Nerd, does, nerd. does anyone here look like they're not believing? Because if so, I want to give the, what do you want me to tell your family when a witch hunter drags your ass away for heresy because you didn't show up when the demon attacks began? Yeah, so... so this, Are you one of them? Almost, almost none of them believe they're going to find a demon. Okay. They all, they all are acting as though they they might find a demon. It's one of those like it, it can't be ignored, you know. But but they they hope they hope it's not real, and their hope has turned their expectation into being, you know, like the, it, it, it's it's blissful hope that that no this this can't be right. We'll go see this. We'll find out these two are a couple of drug is just wasting our time. They'll spend the night in jail, and I'll go home to my family, and everything will be good. But they, they they can't ignore it by the same token. Sounds great. Yeah. Um, I just realized I, I still need to give you because we, we we sort of running from the demon was the end of a chapter. Uh, okay, so, so I need so XP. I, I'm gonna give you XP for that. <laughs> I, I, unfortunately, these XP things are broken, so you will have a total of twenty XP from the stuff in the sewers. So I might need to actually edit your sheets to add that XP on. Um. So if I go, this one, if I edit it again. Cool, yeah. Reason XP change confirm, and then I'll do this on. There we go. 
Oh, they're updated. I still think because I think I think you're both saving talents, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Yep. I want to get holy visions. Yeah, and I'm trying to pick up Warrior Born. Yeah. Uh, That's right, James. We're completely not leveling up any skills, talents, or advancing our characters in any meaningful way in order to secure really cool talents that cost a ton and will only matter when we're much higher level. We're preparing for the future, James. Invest now. Um... So they, rather than taking you back in the way they went, they take you to a manhole cover, which is closer to the area that you said, basically. Sounds great. And uh, pro probably like literally at the, the nearby um, intersection, like somewhere near here. Um, and they, they lift it up, they lower down a rope to help guide down the thing. Um, because there's so many of them, I'm going to say that, you know, that we don't need to make, make rolls to get down into the sewers once more. Okay. Um, you take them along to the location of the door. Uh, first thing is that um, you, didn't, you, didn't have to, you didn't have to damage the door, did you, to get it to get no. it open? You just you know, you managed to get your arm through and, and lift the thing. Okay, so, so 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 the door is still there, and but they they do the usual like you know, they they bang on the door and like you know down guard, open up, uh, and nobody comes. Uh, eventually, they manage to finagle the door open. Um, they you head into the circular room. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an empty stone circular room. The the furniture has been removed. The the symbol is no longer on the floor. Um, they sort of look around. And... They're going to jail. Are there are there any signs of like the? Any signs of habitation in this room at all? Like there were candles. The dust the being moved, like it would look clean in here, right? Compared to all the places we've just been. Uh, yeah. They didn't. So, they, so, they, they didn't spread sewage and dust all over the floor, uh, right, James? <laughs> no. So, so look, this this place has been. Um, uh, well, give, give me uh, give me uh, plus twenty perception rolls. I'm wondering if sending the guard to go get the magistrate was buying time for the collaborators to clean up. So, Dirk, because I mean, parts of the symbol were drawn with like with with actually like copper in the ground, and, and it's actually been like like chipped up, and there's still chunks. Like there's there is signs that this place has recently been cleared out, mm -hmm. um, and and you alert to the guard's attention um we're not going to jail no um yeah they sort of uh how, how, how would they handle this they except that somebody was here um they you know your story about a demon uh They're probably still is, not buy it yeah it's probably like you know it's very dark down here uh because there's no candles here right now obviously as well so they, they they're going by like the whole they're holding like like hooded lens Mm -hmm. um and so you know a lot, lot, lot of shadows moving around as the firelight burns um you know you must have you must have confused yourself uh this this is you know they'll, they'll they'll post a guard here overnight in case somebody comes back probably the one that draws the short straw um but you know, you know you're not in trouble because obviously you had real concern and thank you for bringing real concerns to us but whatever happened here is obviously uh no longer here uh, and they'll be on the lookout tonight. So thank you very much. Now, can we get paid for the goblin? Uh, well, once again, these, these guards are like, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I, that, that's, yeah. That's, 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 that's not my, that's not my jurisdiction. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Okay. So I take my hand and I slam it against the wall and I look dramatically over my shoulder back at Derek and I go, damn it. I'm going to have to get my answers from the street. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I think, you know, if you, if you want to get this turned into like a buddy cop thing. It's a, it's a procedural investigation now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you want to get paid, uh, they suggest that you go and see the clerk at the town hall. Like, at the end of the day, like, they'll give you a bit saying that you, 
you know, were you aided in the investigation for the goblin? Um, you know, you found they, they acknowledge that you found part of the goblin. Uh, tell you to take it to the town hall clerk, and he should pay you. Okay. <laughs> well, I was hoping that we were gonna be able to go into the journey's end and get some sleep, but uh, looks like we'll probably be up for a little while longer yet. If you think an attack is coming. But is it truly our responsibility to deal with that? The answer is yes. I mean, I do think we should go to the journey's end just to uh, get some rest. We need to clean up. Have some dinner and a beer. We need to fully clean up. And we did hear that they have good food at the journey's end. Let's do it. Didn't we get and free free alcohol yes. as part no, of our... Our, our... Our stay is being paid by the guard. We're going to cop. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, of course. All right, so the guard the guards help you out through the manhole closest to the uh, closest to the hidden temple. I look at them sadly because I know that tonight, when the demons come, they'll be the first ones to get eaten. Yeah, um, and you know who, whoever whoever drew the short straw and is staying down in the sewers, like Dirk will look down look look down the hole at them and be like, "Don't let your guard down tonight." All right, we leave. Cool. Um, so where are you headed to? We're going to the journey's end, and like as we come from our room, having cleaned up, we you know we like place an order, then we go clean up, and we come back, and our food's ready, sort of deal. As we're heading out, I say to uh, Dirk, you know, as long as we're staying up, uh, at least until midnight, to make sure nothing happens. We might as well go to Schaffenfest, right? I mean... Well, let's, let's swing by the uh, city hall first and see if we can pick up a uh, payment for this uh, writ. And then... So, yes, we'll I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that's going to happen at this point. They seem really interested in the goblin hand, but there's no reason for us to not stop at city hall. I just want to make sure that we go and get all the local delicacies. Of course. Last time I tried to grab one, a witch hunter showed up and attempted to dragoon me into his service oh yeah you're uh what's it what is it they sell here those like bratwurst yeah. yeah um so sorry so is it the inn first or the town hall first in first absolutely we're gonna have we're gonna have dinner and a drink okay uh so when you get to the inn um and you you so head in and you order your food and they 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 said that that'll be uh, it's quite expensive here i think it's like 10 10 shillings for the room and the food but we got comped, I believe. Uh, we received a, a note from the oh, town hall that, that you weren't, that you hadn't completed, that someone else completed the job, and so therefore your comp was no longer being covered by the city. Dirk pulls out, pulls out the writ that he has that says, hey, uh, we, we just haven't been able to go down to the town hall yet. It's still going to be good. We're, it'll be fine. Uh... All right, give me a. Uh, it's gonna be a bureaucracy a, check. A charm. Give me a charm test. Uh, I'll, I'll take charm or haggle, your choice. But I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you plus twenty because you've got the uh, the writ. Okay. Over rogue traders again. <laughs> Throwing writs around left and right. No. He's not buying it. He's not buying yeah. it. Yeah, I mean they're they're, they're, not, they're not convinced they're gonna get paid by the town. So. Okay. How, how about this? Well, how, how much is it? Uh, 10 shillings. It's expensive. I'll, I'll pay half now. And then when the town pays for it, you give me my five shillings back. All right. They'll, 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 they'll accept that. Okay. Do you even have 10 shillings? You do. Look at that. I do. I, I, I have I have 15 shillings. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a rich man, James. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys, you you know, get cleaned up, you have a meal. Um, you drinking? Uh, I'll, I'll have a beer, yeah. I will also have one drink. Yeah. But it'll be a glass of wine. Yeah. Okay, I, I was watching, is it, uh, have you watched Peaky Blinders? I've seen yes. part of the first episode. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just, uh, there, was, there was a scene where they, they, they go to like war with another gang. It's like, okay, everybody get ready. I only have two drinks. 
Do whiskey's maximum. Uh, all right, so you head off back to the town hall. Yep. Uh, let me get my town hall notes. So this is a really convoluted chapter, and I, I probably should have read more of the stuff prior to uh, to trying to do this, but we can make that work. You know, you could always confuse uh, us by just throwing us into a fight, you know? I, I, I think the module expects you to attack the pink horror because, you know, it's 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 chaos, and it's like, mm -hmm. we're good guys, we should, you know, but then it also forgets that half half the PCs in this are like rat catchers or, yeah. you know, a boatman. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, there's a guy who's like, I'm a baker. If we had a full on, you know, like four person party and more than one competent warrior, sure. Uh, we've got Dirk, and then we've got Ludger, whose primary weapon is a dagger yeah. and faith in the supreme human god. And I mean, I will only hit 46% of the time. That's not great. I mean, that's the that's your competent warrior right there. We need a bowman. Yeah. Um, all right. So we had yeah we head down to the city hall to, or town hall to get this uh, this writ turned in so we can get our meal paid for and I can get my five shillings back. All right. So you um uh yeah you you uh, issued to a uh, a surly looking clerk. Uh, with a pair of like you know thin glasses on his nose, bit overweight, balding, uh, you know, clear, clearly hates his job. Uh, uh, yes, can I help you? I'm uh, clerk Abelwort. Ab uh, Ab sorry, Abelwort. Dirk Eidenbecker. Uh, so we I... we're doing some work for the uh, town guard, uh, and we're issued this writ. And he hands it over. We're staying at the journey's end, and uh, we've got some expenses there that need to be covered. Um, let me have a look. This is... Wasn't this matter resolved? I thought that the the goblin was found over at the warehouse district. Uh, yeah. Parts of the goblin were found at the warehouse district. We were involved in, uh, in the search and uh, were given this writ by the town guard. Um, this is a regular, um, can you give me any more information that I can put into my notes here to go to, I, I, if I just hand over this payment now, I, I, sure. I, I, I could be in trouble. So you, what else can you tell me? And he gets like a, a pit quill out and a bit of paper to listen to your story. Uh, so we were, we were going through the sewers looking for, uh, looking for this goblin um following its trail and ended up uh coming upon it uh over near and he'll like name name the street that it's under um coming upon its remains there and we found a uh three three-legged pelvis which is uh we turned over to the town guard for evidence you can you can go you can go check in with uh deputy costman if you need to Right. The Cosman's just going to tell him that the goblin was already found. Trying to bullshit this guy? Uh, I mean, no, I know, I'm just... I know we did this, but if he goes to Cosman, Cosman's just going to be like, "Yeah, we we found the goblin somewhere else." Well, but but then we, that we went, we took you know another patrol back down into the sewers and. Uh... Sorry, like, you, I mean, you, didn't mention, you didn't mention the demon, though, did you, to, in, in, in your story? No. Okay. Um, just give me a charm test, please, Spoon. Sure. No. Okay. Uh, all right, wait here, please. And he disappears into a back room. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to roll the screen. All right. Comes back out with a crossbow. Shoot, <laughs> Sterk. <laughs> <laughs> um, after 10 minutes, he's not back. What are you going to do? Uh, is there, uh, what else is happening in this office? 
Um, I mean, there's it, it, once again, it, so it's it's evening, but it's also the evening of the Sharpen Fest. So there are quite a lot of clerks here because they're all getting ready for all the sudden paperwork that's going to be going through once sure. all the trades start happening. So it's it, it, it's it's probably quite busy at this at this time of night, despite the fact. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, yeah, it's 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 a hive of activity. I will look over at Ludger and say, I mean, do we just wait here or but what, whatever? I'm going to loudly clear my throat while also uh, strongly presenting my Warhammer. Uh, holy symbol. <clears throat> I'm, I'm carrying right now very hard. Okay. <laughs> um, it takes about another 10 minutes of, of, yeah, your throat's probably quite raw. Uh, uh, um, in 10 minutes. So 20 minutes have passed now since the clerk left. And another clerk sort of comes over and says, uh, can I help you, sir? Is there some issue? Uh, there was another clerk here who was going to uh, see about getting us our payment for working for our work with the town guard. Um, he left about 20 minutes ago and hasn't come back. Oh, um... Okay, uh, did you get his name? The clerk's name? Clerk Abartwart. Uh, uh, Ab yeah. Uh, 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 it's A-R-B-E-I-T-W-E-R-T. Arbeitwort? Arbeitwort? Arbeitwort, yeah. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be German, so Arbeitwort, yeah. Um, hmm. Okay, um, I'll go look for him. Stay here. And that... <laughs> That clerk then disappears. Yeah, I think like read a, a story recently. Red rolls his eyes in this guy's face about spoiled potatoes in a basement. The gas was killing people that went down there, and people would go down there wondering where the person in front of them went to. They would die from the gas. Uh, um. Where, do, do we see where these guys are going? It's just, listen, yeah, in the yeah, back, it's, they're it's, just it's, reporting it's to their supervisor. Guys. It's a pink it's horror a wearing a top hat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they come to the door and just, wham, dead. <laughs> He's just blending in perfectly as a clerk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They're going through a door with a brass plaque that says staff only. Okay. <laughs> Oh, staff only. All right, so half an hour has now passed since the first clerk left, and ten minutes mm -hmm. since the second clerk left. Okay, I've I've I've, I've had enough of this. I'm I'm gonna. What are you gonna do? Uh, who's who, who's who's in charge of this place? And Ed Dirk is like, Ray has raised his voice now. This is the real Karen power right here. <laughs> yeah, he's invoking <laughs> the rights. I want to see your manager. Yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. So uh, we have a, a one of the councillors, Councillor Tugan, is in this evening. He would be the most senior person here. I I, I point at the door that says staff only. I go, is he in there? Uh, his office is through there. Great, but you I'm, can't. I'm, I'm going to go talk to him, <laughs> and, and I'm, I'm going to like unless somebody physically stops me, I'm going okay. to. I'm going to turn to that clerk, and I'm going to say, "Do you know who he is?" <laughs> So, and then I'm going to follow him. Uh, yeah. Uh, so you, you barge from the door. Look, and, and like, once again, it's a hive of activity here. And you can mm -hmm. see, you actually see the first clerk is back here as well. And he's like carrying around, like, like clearly to sign money out of this, he has to go and get like a number of people to sign documentation. And so he's got like, it's just bureaucracy and red tape at work here. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Ah, yes, the uh, bursar. I understand now. Yeah. Um, along with the fact that the, 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 the second clerk is basically like obviously found him, said they're waiting for you, realized the guy's doing his job and is like just gone, okay, no worries. I'm sure he'll get to them eventually. Um, so, yeah, the first clerk is, is there working. You can see you know, the office with the sign that says Councillor Tugan, which is, you know, lit up from within because there's, there's lighting within. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh, well, well, we could still ask about the handkerchief as long as we're here. Yeah, you we'll, seem like you we'll, lost uh, some of your emotional strength. Chugan's uh, uh, office. Okay, no worries. Uh, 
Maybe there's a picture of this guy. I just realised that uh, half these, half these, um, well, it's probably it's probably pictures of half the people you met here. Um, no, wow, this for some reason there's no picture of uh, of Chugan. He must not be a very important person to talk to then, you know. Um, so he uh, he is a uh, well paid, well fed city councillor in like you know in in a, in a puffy shirt with gold chains. Uh, and a, and a, you know, a, 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 he, he has a hat in his desk, not wearing it inside, but it has like you know a feather in the hat. Um, he uh, stands up as you come in. Oh, can I help you? Uh, I think you can, Councillor. Uh, I have some business uh, that's out, that's being transacted outside that needs to be expedited. Um, I also have a few questions for you. Ah. Oh. Well, if this isn't a particularly busy evening, he says ironically, but I'm sure I can make some time for, sorry, what was your name, sir? Uh, Dirk Einbecker. We've been uh, working with the town guard in regards to uh, hunting down a the goblin that escaped from uh, the Zucopia. Uh, and the investigation has led us into uh, some cult activity, and I was here to question you in regards to that. Well, 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 please, please sit down. Of course. He um he walks over to like a um a, a table and pulls out like a a large uh, goblet and pours a dark red liquid into it before um coming and sitting down opposite you at the table. Um. I'd like to give like his his office and and belongings like a, a glance over to see uh, you know what sort of state like what sort of station this guy holds in in society. Give me a perception roll. Crazy no. failure. Okay. Or you can tell us this guy is important. Yeah. Hey, Pete, um, do you want to also look around at all? Yes. But I am looking for information about if this guy is part of the conspiracy I'm increasingly believing is very real. Marginal success with the exact 40. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be a crit in Pendragon. Mm. Uh, well, we're not playing Pendragon. We've got Pendragon at home, James. Uh, okay, so um, things you can tell. So so in terms of his station, this guy is he's an elected official, but he's probably also a man of... He's probably an elected official because he's wealthy. He's not wealthy because he's an elected official. Um, you notice that he, it, it, like, in the light here, it's hard to tell, but he is quite pallid. Um, you also notice, AP, that uh, his eye teeth are um, a little bit longer and pointed than, more pointed than most people's would be. Like, um, demonic cultist level? Well, I mean, look, you're... You, you're you're trained to recognize some monsters. You know, it could be something like a vampire. You know, pale skin, drinking dark red liquid, long you know long long fangs. Don't and try it uh, now. Did it smell like wine when he uncorked the bottle? That, now that is uh, a good question. Across the room, it's too far to tell. So, okay. <clears throat> do you mind if I if I have a drink, counselor? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to let you know first that something's wrong. Uh, I okay. I mean, sure, no. I, I had already tagged no. it from 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 when he uncorked a bottle of, of viscous red liquid and poured it for himself. I'm like, oh boy, that could be blood. I lean in next to you and I describe my concerns about the teeth and such. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, I I are you gentlemen uh, constituent? I mean, um, uh, citizens of uh, Bogenhafen? Might we get a glass of that wine before we continue this discussion? I'd be, uh, I'd, yeah, I'd be remiss if I didn't bless, you know, your office as a priest of Sigmar. Uh, this is a, a very expensive bottle of wine in my family. I'm not just pouring glasses of this for a couple of unknown individuals well, per, who walk into office in the middle of the night demanding to be seen. Perhaps you would, uh, well, never mind. James is trying to red herring us so hard with this wine. You know that, right? You know that. Uh, we're we're here uh, with some questions 
Um, you're obviously a very important man, counselor, and you rub elbows with all of the uh, upper crust of the citizenry of the city. Uh, who among uh, who among that group has the initials FS? Watching him like a hawk. Um. So I don't believe that Falco Schmidt. <laughs> So nobody on the council. What about those initials? Businesses. Well, the only name I can think of that might. I mean, okay, so so there is a, a a wealthy nobleman merchant named Franz Steinhager, who that there is initials. Uh, he doesn't sit on the council um but he he's he's one of my neighbors to be precise hmm. whereabouts uh whereabouts is that uh is your dwelling it's just, it's just, it's still the sound playing it's, it's just like oh my <laughs> dwelling it's six feet under i mean uh, very normal above ground location uh i live on the adult ring i see <clears throat> what's what's our version of coruscant the city that we started the campaign in uh, outdoor outdoor yes yeah, so i'm going to say councilman councillor tugan we are not your constituents or taxpayers we too are agents sent by high-ranking officials in outdoor investigating wrongdoing wrongdoing which has led us to your office we would like to help clear you of any suspicion in this matter technically everything i've said so far is true so let me understand correctly you have so I don't know how, how much you, you haven't actually said that much about what you actually done here. You just told me you were looking for looking to get paid, and that you well, were here and that, on behalf we of in, others. Yeah, well, and, and we were involved in the uh, search you're for helping, the goblin the mutant. Country. Yeah, that had led us into cult activity, um, and that we had some questions about that for him. Okay. Well, put, I mean, okay. I I accept that you gentlemen are what you say you are. Ask your questions. I will help you to the best of my ability. I'm I'm a bit unsure about where the this initial part comes from, but but please tell me more about what's happened and tell me how I can help. Are you familiar with uh, the Ordo Septenarius? Uh, yes, they're a um, charitable organization. Interesting. Who are, who are their members? Is Franz Steinhofer a member? Uh, I, I don't know their membership. I, I just look that they... They donate to the um, sorry they, they 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 collect funds to you know basically pay for war, for orphans and such and they they donate some of their funds to the city in exchange for um, assistance. Uh, I don't know they really have a, um, a standard place of working. I just I like I I know them from seeing the name on tax records basically. Interesting tax records. They own or do business under the guise of the Ordo Septenarius? I believe so. Um, Councillor Magirius at the Merchants Guild, he, I remember seeing his name alongside um, their, the paperwork. I mean, look, as I said, it, it, it's, they're not a they're not a major organization. They're not not movies and shakers in this town. They're just a small charitable fund. Um, so I I never get much look, but I know that Magirius' uh, name has been associated with them in the past. Friedrich Magirius. Friedrich Magirius. Friedrich Magirius. And uh, is he? Does are is are his offices here as well, or is that in the... no no no? He 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 has offices at the Merchants Guild. I understand. Okay. Well, 
I am going to stage whisper as I lean in towards Dirk and say, I think that Counselor Tugan may need to know the full detailing of our journey here. The fight with whatever that was in the fake warehouse, the lawyer's office, the demon in the sewers. And while I'm fake whispering, I'm keeping an eye on him to see if he knows anything about what I've just talked about. Um, so you mean the fake warehouse, the... the that lawyer's office thing where, you know, oh, someone okay. went into the back room and was That's horrifically well. murdered. Yeah, Adolphus yeah, no, just there's... died. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, there's no specific, um, uh, no specific, uh, uh, word that, um... <clears throat> No, 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 nothing triggers him to suddenly jump in and say anything, no. No demon in the sewers? No. Okay. I'm looking to Spoon, looking to Dirk, to see if he agrees that we should reveal what we know about the Order Septenarius to this guy. Um, yeah, so Dirk will, Dirk will start relaying the story about how, you know, uh, obviously... Wash, you know, washing it a little bit so that you know we are not uh, the suspicious parties in any of this. But uh, generally, telling the story of how we came came to the city, got involved in uh, this uh, scheme to trap uh, the mad this magister of the purple hand. And James, while he's doing this. I'm going to very casually get two more Y glasses at startup yep. four. Get a little sniff of that, see what it is. Okay, no worries. Um, I would like from you a... Uh, I mean, stealth is an advanced skill in this. Uh... I, I don't know that I'm being stealthy. No. I'm being casual. Uh, you know what I'm going to take from you is I'm going to take a consumer alcohol check. <laughs> casually casually do it you know without without drawing attention can i do anything to push that in some way fate fortune you have, result you have uh, you can reroll look I, i'm i'm happy that you know at a marginal failure that um you know he 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 notes that you're pouring wine but doesn't <laughs> like he doesn't suddenly stop you i just want to give it a little sniff make sure it's not blood you know, it's it's a it's a fine fine red. Okay, I'm gonna give Bloodgar the up nod. It's a, li uh, a little thicker than you might like, but um, you know, it's uh. Well, now James, you're making me want to try it because now you're making it sound really weird. <laughs> um. Yeah, and so you know, he goes goes through the whole journey into the sewers, finding the uh. A uh, hidden temple down there with the pink horror, um, and then basically coming coming to our business here at the uh, the city hall. All right. Well, a demon, you say? Yes, you do say. I, uh, I look. I, I. Struggle to uh, uh, look. I, I I don't want to say I don't believe you. It's merely a case of a demon is is a is a hard thing to to reconcile. I mean, this we are we are a, 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 a godly city here. We have temples. We have priests. Demons don't just turn up in such places. Are yes. you sure? I mean, you were in a dark room. You know, there not have been sure. some trick of the light. I'm very sure. Well, this is then. I mean, there's little I can do with such a thing. You've you've told the guard, I assume, and the church. Yes. Well, I mean, it sounds like you've done all you can. This matter of sorting out your payment, I'll I'll, uh, I'll have that I'll have that fast fast track for you. I apologize for that, but I. I, I don't know what to do with those people who told me. I'm a, a, a elected official. I have no power in such matters. Hmm. 
Well, I think you've already uh, given us a uh, good deal of assistance, Counselor. I, well, you're welcome then. Now, show me to this clerk and we'll sort this matter out. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we will stand up and go back outside. Cool. To, uh, um, he he goes and finds a clerk who explains that he's almost halfway through getting all this needed required to to release the funds from the uh, from the treasury. Um, and uh, he sort of he he said, "Look, I, I, I'll I'll sign it off. You know, I'll over I'll override this and I'll just sign it off." So, uh, you're each paid ten shillings. Nice. And on top of that, they will so they they will recomp your um your uh, stay. So you'll be able to get your five shillings back when you head back to the uh, head back to the inn. Well, Luker, what would you like to do? Schaffenfest or this Fran Steinhauber fellow? I'm going to be honest with you. I actually think we should go check on the constable. The one who's sick. Magister Richter? Magister, yes. yeah. Okay. And then after that, Schaffenfest. I'm not sure that we have the political capital this night to go banging down the door of Friedrich Magirius. And I'll be honest, it seems that our opposition is far, far ahead of us. They are cleaning their tracks. I think that we need to take some time to counter any efforts that they have in play tonight and come fresh tomorrow no longer tainted by the horrific memory of the pink horror with some priests since apparently the militia is useless well let's see what we find at the magistrate's house let's see how sick he really is i'm beginning to suspect that his sickness may be magical in nature perhaps and as i say that the sherlock holmes theme from the bbc plays is <laughs> I twirl around and suddenly I have one of those dog hunting caps and a cape. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're if you're Sherlock, does that make me Watson? No, you're also Sherlock. Oh, I see. We're two Sherlocks. I should which, honestly be Watson. Which, which Sherlock theme, sorry. The one from BBC. Oh, okay, no, sorry. The 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 Sherlock Holmes with um Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay, which I didn't watch. It's like my brain went to the Guy Ritchie Sherlock Holmes. So. Uh, is that the one with um, Robert Downey Jr.? Uh, Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah. yeah, not that one, but that one's so good. <laughs> the first one is good. The second one, maybe less good. Still good, but less good. All right. Uh, so you uh, ask about so. The magistrate, he's not, not a wealthy man. So he's not like in the, in the expensive districts. He's in like, you know, in, in basically an apartment blocks. Mm. Um, and uh, asking around, you find your way to his door, which has a, a symbol of an owl carved into it. When you knock on the door, a woman of advancing years wearing like an apron and a dress answers, hello? We're here to see... Um... Magistrate Richter. I am a priest of Sigmar, and I have come to bless him in his time of need. He was of great value to us earlier this day. Oh, um, please come in. The doctor's in with him right now. Mm. She, like, escorts you in. Blessings uh, upon you and your home. It's lovely, I'm sure. Lots of doilies. Yeah, it is. It, look, it's a, it's... A nice place you know she, she's obviously like a like a living housemaid basically so um she basically she, she pours you tea and then goes to let the doctor know that you've come i'm starting to think that we're at 221 b baker street right now yeah. it's a living housemaid who pours us tea and there's a doctor who lives here <laughs> I think, I think and this guy's the head of the police he's an investigator 
this Dirk Dirk just leaves the tea uh, where it's poured. I also am suspicious of the tea, just like I was suspicious of this wine. Well, I mean, it's like it's a typical clear brown tea with the leaves still in the bottom of the. I understand, James. I'm starting to think that the the cult has done something to the drinks of the town. Maybe the water with the sewer. I guess that okay, wouldn't um, affect the wine, but. All right. Uh, the moment later she returns, <clears throat> along with a man who is uh, clearly wearing like a physician's robes. Um, he has like the, the classic sort of leather leather satchel full of, uh, full of doctor's kit. Uh, he sort of pushes his glasses up as he sees you. I'm frightfully sorry, gentlemen. I uh, have another patient to see, but if you wish to see the magistrate he is in his chambers, but though uh, uh, unable to talk right now. But uh, I've given him something for the pain. I'll be back in the morning. What is his affliction? Uh, I believe it is some sort of fluid retention, swelling, perhaps, uh, uh, mainly around the cranium. Uh, do you have any sort of medical skills, AP? I'm afraid that I don't, James. Until I become a priest, I don't get the heal skill. Okay um instead i will take from you both minus 10 perception rolls how difficult failure by a lot no. okay he he goes into doctor's techno babble and you quickly lose what he's talking about do you have any reason to suspect that this malady is Unnatural. Uh, I mean, it's it's not a natural state of being to be in such a way. Uh, it's is some sort of infection or disease, but uh, I, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't think this is poison or the like. There's, there's no nothing, no indications on his tongue or such that he was poisoned. What about magic? I, uh, I'm afraid that. Uh, that's not really my purview, gentlemen. And what was your name, Doctor? Uh, Dr. Reinhold Hackdorn. Dr. Uh, Reinhardt. Sorry, but I, I, uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Right. He hurries out. Uh, the woman's like, uh, I'll take you in to see the magistrate now. Very well. All right. Um, I think I have a picture of him when he is not looking the way he does right now. Um I do this. No, no. no it's weird. It's, it's a picture on his character sheet, but there is no No, it's not coming up. Anyway. Um he he is a uh overweight gentleman who has uh thinning so okay th think of uncle uncle uh Dirk in, no. I don't know, yeah in, 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 from from harry potter the uh, yes. harry potter's uncle yeah he, he he looks much 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 like that uh in fact when that when that actor played the judge in um in uh sleepy hollow he's yeah mm, like okay. that yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, although his um his face is hugely swollen so his eyes are bulging um like a spaniel his his tongue is swollen you know and, and he's he's wheezing as he sort of breathes around tries to breathe around um the tongue which is taking up most of his airway um he and he and you know he's he's clearly delirious like he, his his eyes are, are milky and looking around unseeing and you know in between his wheezing breeze he sort of babbles yeah what's he babbling uh, like it's it's unintelligible. It's just 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 noises, not words. All right, James. I have a low chance of succeeding at this because my prey is only thirty-one. But what are if I was to grant Sigmar's blessing of hardiness to give him an additional ten points of toughness? Do I think that that might alleviate his suffering somewhat, or is this just a waste of my time? Um, it, so you, 
okay so first off you don't you lack the medical knowledge to know what part of the body this attacks like does it att attack toughness for example but from a religious point of view it couldn't do any harm magistrates we met this guy earlier right he's the one that let us do the goblin hunt yeah because he, so? he, yeah. he was he was in the previous i noticed he was in the character list from a previous scene from the shaft and fest scene so he must have been the one hmm. that then. magistrate richter you may recall me i am a priest ludger bell writer do you have any way of communicating with me, moving one finger for yes, two for no, or perhaps nodding or shaking your head? He gives no indication of even having heard you. Dirk, what I'm about to do will take much focus. Will you pray with me to Sigmar or to whichever god you call your patron? Uh, I will pray with you to Sigmar. Very well. I call upon Sigmar's aid. I want to give this guy the blessing of hardiness. Okay. There's no roll flat, I don't think, is there? Ah, uh, there is. I have to make a prayer roll okay. to succeed. I have failed by eight points. Is there some way for me to push this? Uh, well, I mean, you can spend a fight to re-roll. Let me double check what happens when I fail. I just want to make sure that. Uh... All right. I will reroll. And I don't think this is a petty concern. Like, Sigmar's not going to be upset with me if I push this. Okay. Oh, there we go. I finally managed to spend the fate point. All right, let's roll. The Sigmar can smite me if I piss him off. Nope, I make it worse. Okay, okay so I'm not able to bless him. Yep. Maybe Sigmar didn't want to bless him. That's true. Maybe, maybe because he's a secret cult member. We do, we have no way of determining what he's saying we're, we're just in, like in his like bedroom i think like bed chambers or like study or do we see any order of septenarius books lying around a giant plaque that says i'm best buds with uh, uh councilman friedrich magirius zinch take the wheel I mean, it probably won't be that obvious, but, you know, they might have, like, uh, what's Sinch's number? Uh, nine. You know, like, sewn into everything sort of deal? No. No. Nothing stands out. Uh, if, if, I, if I, like, go over to him uh, and, like, you know, do his eyes reg register my presence at all? No. Okay. I'm just going to search him. Okay, no worries. Um, I think that there's nothing on him that is at all. I mean, look, if you want to rob him, you can take some of his money but or his gold, but uh, in, in, overall, there's no, nothing on him that is a quake sure. to clues. Okay. Um, what, about, what about the room? Like searching his um, belongings. Give me, um, give me perception rolls to search. Uh, I'll spend a uh, fate or fortune. Or, uh, I think it's fate, right? Yeah, we roll that. I failed. Uh, where is fate? This guy got a fruit basket with a sacred devil melon in it. Just this morning from Councilman Friedrich. We've just been walking past it over and over again. Perception. 
Nope, just as bad. Okay. Wow. Just within one point. Yeah. <laughs> that, that That's in impressive. Itself is pretty impressive. No, nothing else in nothing else here. Yeah. Okay. Um I've tried a Sherlock to look for clues, but all I get is white question marks popping up everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so when we step back, well, I, I assume Luke, we're, we're finished here. Yes. Done. I'm willing to step out. Yeah, when we when we step back out, is the maid woman there? Yes. Um, has the magistrate had any strange visitors aside from ourselves? Um, the, well, he has he has visitors at all hours normally, but um, I'm trying to think of anyone that would stand out. There was one young man who I hadn't seen before. Um, he, I mean, he's not not he's not uh, sort of the usual uh, fare for the matter to the sea. Um. Would have been early twenties, dark hair, short. Um, had a strange air about him. I, I don't know how to describe it. He was dressed um, as a well, a merchant's clothes, but ill-fitting. Mm. I think Gideon was his name. He said Gideon. Interesting. Well, I pull spoon aside, not dirt. I pull spoon aside and go. Mm -hmm. This is a module James is running. We're just getting red herring after red herring. Yeah, <laughs> but 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 here's the thing: if, when all you've got is red herrings, where do you go? <laughs> to a tuna shop. <laughs> it's time to shop some fish and make sashimi. Uh. Yeah, so. You know where we go? Chaffin Fest. Fest. <laughs> we are going to avoid going to the home of Counselor Friedrich Magirius because we will die if we go there. Yeah. So, I mean, let, let me throw some other options at you. Sure. Okay. Um, whatever building was above ground where the where the temple was below ground. Oh, yeah, the sure. Where, the warehouse where the goblin was found. Was found. Yep. I assume, though, that that was just a connection to the sewers. You know, not that there was anything significant there. But now, now you're making me think that that is owned by the Ordo Septenarius. Damn it, James. Let's go to the building directly above where the goblin was found. The temple. Um, Again, it's the middle of the night, so we're just sneaking around now, and the guards are already mad at us. Well, it's like, no, no, it's like now, now people are making they're making uh, they're making livestock deal trades now. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that's yeah, yeah, I mean, like, like the, the town's actually quite busy tonight because of the the whole. Yeah, you know, this this is the this is the culmination of the Schaffen Fest, and so um, I assume that yeah. the guy from the beginning of Hunchback of Notre Dame, the bard, is just wandering around town singing in French. Getting everybody hyped up for the festival. No one knows what I'm talking about. That's okay. People who watch Hunchback, you know what I'm talking about. They feel you. Here is uh, the moment we've been waiting for. Give me plus 20 intuition rolls to try and work out what building above ground, like just from sort of pacing it out from the manhole, etc. Of course. We're actually just going to do all of them, James. We'll skip the... Uh... At plus 20, you say? Plus 20. Intuition? Yes. Oh, you've made a mistake, James. This is my best skill by far. I got a plus seven <laughs> degrees of success. Um, all right, so uh it is the merchant house uh of the Steinhager family. Mm -hmm. Um it is it is closed right now. Um, although there is some sign of People being like, you know, there, there are some lights inside in, in like one of the offices. Franz Steinhager was one of the names mentioned here. It could be FS. Yeah. Wasn't it the first one? No, it wasn't. No. It was found Wealthy out. noble merchant man, Franz Steinhofer. We learned it from Tugan. Yeah. <laughs> 
Was we here's the problem that I have is that we have exceeded our authority at this point. You know what I mean? Don't work for the guard anymore. We're just following clues on clues on clues. I don't know that we can break into this place in the middle of the night and demand answers. We may have reached the end of the guard's authority. But will we ever reach the end of Sigmar's authority? <laughs> All right. So what I do is I assume that the this place has like large stone pillars outside of it and then there's like iron bars between them right in order so that you can look inside but you can't like get inside i'm gonna go up to one of those stone pillars slam my head on the side of one and go he's right we can't back down now just because we don't have the authority this gives me all the authority i need as a rookie initiate i'm gonna fall <laughs> this in the end <laughs> Because my buddy Dirk, who is just as struck as I am, told yeah. hey, me we should bad advice. <laughs> um, look, you're wealthier than I am. I don't suppose your family does any business with trading houses. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do the barrel job. We do. We do ship ale to a good portion of the empire, but. Dirk, should we be talking about barrels with you? Your family need premium barrels? <laughs> um, but, uh, perhaps, I mean, we do. <laughs> but, uh, uh, that, you know, that's more my older brother's concern. Um, yeah, I'm going to find some way to get in contact with these people. It probably will just involve shouting loudly that it's Shoffin Fest and I have a business deal to make with the Merchant House of... Steinhauer. Steinhauer. You know, unless they have a bell or something, I can ring. So, okay, so I mean, like so the signs indicate it's closed, but there is. I understand, like a, yeah, but yeah, there's a light on, so I'm going to try to get yeah, somebody's attention. Should, yeah, sure. I'm not trying uh, to break in here, James. I'm, 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 I'm going to do a circle of this place to see, just to see if we can break in. While that's happening, I will not be breaking in, and I will be asking permission. Okay, no worries. Um, so. Give me a perception roll, please, AP. I'm being ignored, huh? That's normal. House plus three degrees. Nice. So when you first ring the bell and call out, the first thing you see is, like, the person inside tries to, like, quickly cover the light. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as, as to, like, you know, to imply nobody's there. But then I think they probably realize a moment later that, you know, oh, it's, uh, it, it, it's too late to have been seen. And so mm -hmm. the light comes back into full view again. And um, yeah, they were reading was, under the covers. Yeah, I know. You, you, you sort of, um, you know, see more more lights being lit as they make their way towards the door. Um, for you, Spoon, I mean, look, at the end of the day, this place has windows and doors. Um, it, you would, n unless the doors are unlocked, you know, getting in would actually involve breaking in, but nothing mm -hmm. that would. You know, it'd be too large. A well, I mean, that's what I said. It's a sort of place that, that keeps cash on site, so yeah. they probably have so not, not so much sturdy. bars, but they're sturdy. They, they they have reinforced windows and doors. You know, you would probably you couldn't just kick a door in with one sword. Kick you probably to hack it open with a sword, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, you do notice as well that um, because there's like there's a backyard, like a, like a fenced backyard to the place as well that has a guard dog in it too. A guard dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which does which does bark loudly, you know, anybody that sort of walks too close to the fence. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah so I'll circle back around front. Okay. Um a, a door opens up, uh AP. The man looks to be probably late forties, graying hair. Um, he looks tired. Um, you know, he's sort of dressed in like, I, I guess, how, do, how does a medieval merchant dress casually? You know, mm -hmm. he's, not here to, he's, he's not here to merchant right now. He's here for his own personal business, and that's how he's that's how he's dressed. Um, probably dressed like, you know, like like a person trying to be stealthy, almost. Um, but uh, yeah, he's, he he uh, looks to you. Uh, I, I'm I'm sorry, sir. We we are closed. Ah, Schaffenfest. All the merchants are staying up, are they not? 
Uh, we don't deal with livestock or the trade of the the festival. So uh, I'm afraid that my brothers have both gone home and I'm just finishing some some late night work. Can I ask who you are, sir? Uh, Heinrich Steinheiger. You have a brother, Franz Steinhofer? Uh, yes, yes. He's one of my brothers, yes. And who is the other brother? Um, so Your right. other brothers, they just can't deny. Uh, not Gideon, then. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, Albrecht. Albrecht. Uh, so, I assume we're outside having this conversation in the open, right? Uh, well, he's, he's, he's in the doorway. Yes. I'm going to say to him quietly, as you can see, I am a priest of Sigmar, and we have reason to believe that your trading house here may be being infiltrated by cultists. All right. You should he, not he, speak he, out here. He, he looks to both sides. Hmm? Come in. Come in. Good, good, good. This is where this is where we get murdered. For sure. We should go in with him. Okay. Luke he, or, uh, he... Dirk is on alert now. Because <laughs> this dude yeah, no, invited he's... us into his house instead of going, shut up and go away. <laughs> um yeah, so he, he leads you through to um to his office. So you realize that his office was not the one that the light was in previously. Mm. Um how suspicious. Please, uh, please sit down. You seem like someone who has something to say to us. I, uh... Your, your... Your concerns ring with me because I have been worried that my brother has been up to something. Your brother, Franz Steinhofer. Yes. Are you aware that directly underneath this facility there has been cult activity, including a summoning circle for a demon? He he like he he looks shocked, but shocked as in like he, it, it, total belief. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like all his all his greatest fears are being confirmed by what you just said. The second person to act this way. How yeah. strange. Yeah. Uh Dirk will produce the self handkerchief and say, Is this your brother's? Uh, yes. Yes, where did you find it? We found it in the cult ritual site we just told you about. Yes. And there was a demon. This is... This is terrible. This could ruin my family. Yes. We'd like to help He's, you. He, he, he looks at, he looks at, um, Turkey. You look like a man of action. Would <laughs> you kill my brother? I'll give you 15 gold crowns to, to, to have some accident before France. I look at him in disbelief as a priest of Sigmar. It's just openly... <laughs> <clears throat> I clear my throat. But I let Dirk do his thing. I will... Absolutely kill your brother. <laughs> Hold on. What evidence do we have that you're not in on this plot as well? Uh, I mean, how, how can I give you a lack of evidence? I, I... What suspicions do you have about your brother that you should come to us like this? Saying that you believe it, sight unseen. What has he done that makes you want to kill him so quickly? He... Months ago, he joined some association, um, some charitable order with 40 odd other people. Um, like they, say, they say that they are doing the work of the, um, the gods and they are helping people, but that's not really Franz's style. Um, he spends long hours locked away in his office he comes here outside of hours uh money company money is being spent on i don't know what the paperwork is terrible um 
And who else is here tonight? Uh, just the porter and Fang the dog. Wasn't the light on in a different room earlier? I I was uh, I was in Francis' office, searching for evidence, trying to. Uh, his desk is he's he's a smart man. He locks his locks his desk. I was hoping to try and find a way to open it, but it's such such mechanical means are beyond me. James, what kind of vibe are we getting from this guy? I mean, um, he give me a uh, intuition roll. My best skill, and I'm afraid that it's far too low to get what I wanted. Yep, I'm gonna fate that as well. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this dude has just offered Dirk a fortune to go. Get <laughs> so. Yeah, I have a. We both have a minus four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. This guy is. You know, can't tell. You know, he's. he's he is. He seems honestly surprised. Well, not surprised. Like he. He seems. I mean, he's honestly shocked that it goes to the point of demon worship. But he. He believes that about his brother, and he is. Yeah, he's very he's very afraid of what could happen. I mean, it, I, I I think it's very obvious to to Ludger that Dirk is buying this dude's story, and you know, as part of hopefully the justice that they will bring to the to the cult, like Dirk's gonna probably kill this dude's brother and try and for fifteen uh, gold, yeah, save save the the Steinhauger name, of course. Um... And this is definitely not bait at all. 15 gold pieces offered to the guy who loves money. No. Um, in character, though, I also buy this because I have trouble seeing anything suspicious. Um, what is the legality of us breaking into his office and busting open his desk? So I just I'm not clear how far our authority to chase this down goes. Okay, so so I'll put it this way. Let, let, let's look at the legalities here. So this guy can give you the authority to like he 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 can happily tell you to smash his brother's desk, and it's his property. He's in charge here. That's entirely legal. Um, he probably won't do that unless your next step is to go and kill his brother straight away because he doesn't want to get caught by his brother. So he's like, you know, if 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 you're if you're happy to say you'll go kill his brother, he's like, no worries. Let's go through his stuff now because it won't matter soon. But he doesn't want to get caught by his brother if you're not going to kill his brother next. Sure. Let's go let's go break into that desk. And by break into, I don't mean like use lockpicks or anything. We don't give a shit about that. We can just smash it up. Yeah. Okay. No the desk's integrity at the end of this. Oh boy, we're gonna get it so we're gonna be in jail forever. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be bitch on the way back to outdoor. Or on the way to uh, my my post in Tiss and Tossin. Tiss and Tossins. <laughs> wealthy men. A very real place. Yeah. Okay. Um, so first off, uh, you entered the office. Um, so things are not in the office that are that are obvious. First off, there one of the one of the walls of the office has clearly been um, rebuilt recently. Uh, like it, it, it's just the the wood style doesn't match the other walls. Um, it's yeah. It, it, it's a recent reconstruction. Mm -hmm. um, you notice, yeah. There's, there's, there's a heavy oak desk with locked drawers. Um, there is also a, a wall safe in the room as well. Do you have any access to that wall safe? Uh, I don't know the code. And you can see that there, there was like a map of of Bogenhafen which has been put down. On, like he's obviously he's obviously lifted the the the, the map off and found the wall safe, but. Has been a way how to actually open it. Is there anything in here that would lead us to um, membership in the Ordo Septenarius, like a big placard or anything like that? Can I take a look at and like investigate the uh, the newly constructed wall? Uh, yeah, give me a perception test at minus ten. Um, and I'll ask, uh, what's this guy's name again? 
Uh, Heinrich? What's Heinrich. Uh, yeah. Okay. No, it just looks like a, a, a newly built wall. Yeah. And I'll say, when when was this put in? Um, France had it had it installed probably about three months ago. There there used to be a door down to an old cellar that he said was we don't use anymore, and so he decided to ward up because he said it got a draft from the sewers. Dirk got Dirk exchanged a yeah. I mean, I nod immediately. Glance. Um. All right, let's let's get into the desk, and then uh, I don't think we need. Uh, like this is definitely the secret passageway down into the hidden temple below. Um. All right. So you um smash yeah you know, smash your your the the desk drawer part out so you can so you can remove the whole drawer. Um. So inside the the drawer you swing into, you find. Uh, like a an inventory list of the various Steinhager warehouses, um, mainly trade goods. They, they they primarily deal in wine, um, timber, and building materials. Are their, are their sort of primary trade. So not so much to do with the the rest of Shaft and Vest. Um, there is, however, also in there a a bronze medallion. Um, that uh, well, what I'll do is I'll show you. Um, uh, there's also a letter which I'll show you the letter, uh, and the medallion is the symbol that's on this letter. So um let's see if this works. Come on. Comrades, so we carry out Zinch's will. I, very important person. Okay. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, it does include their name, Johannes Yugen. And I'm guessing that that symbol is the same symbol we saw before on and the Brandon, floor. Yeah. Yes. Um now Johannes Tugen was the counselor you met at um, you spoke with at the uh, at the town hall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and you said it was like eleven thirty ish. No, it's not like nine thirty ish. Nine thirty ish. Okay. Um, now you also because you pull the whole drawer out, you also notice that there is a leather bound tome hidden, like under like you had to pull the whole drawer out, and it's hidden on the ground beneath the drawer. Okay. What's the? Uh... It's it's not titled on the spine or the cover. Yeah. Um... Here's my worry. Can I read? Here's my worry. Is that this isn't a magical demonic plot? That these guys are just making a large currency transfer on Schaffenfest via land owning, and we won't be able to pin them for anything. <laughs> Uh, so, well, I mean, it's just the temple is ready for use. Yes, but that's the only thing that connects it to the temple that we, you know, the only evidence we have oh, of the symbol. temple is the, I mean, but that symbol isn't like an evil symbol, right? Okay, okay, wait, it's, let me, get, let, me, let, me let me, let me, let me, let me finish, let me finish okay. and you'll quickly get the, the, uh, the, the damn evidence you want. Looking in the book, you can't read it because it's not written in either Bretonian Wastelander or Reichlin, which is what each of you speak. Um, it is written in law in language magic, but there is enough symbolism in here that you recognize demonic, like you know, there's demon symbols, there are pictures of of demons. Um, you know, this, this it's a magic book of demonic spells. All right, I'm gonna look at um, this guy's name's not Albrecht, it's Heinrich. Heinrich, Heinrich. and I'm going to say, You are. He's, he's like, He's like, that's bad, right? Yes, you're willing to testify against your brother about this? Uh, can't we just kill him? I mean... Oh, we're definitely whole, going to kill him, for sure. This whole, tes this whole testify thing is going to, you know, like, drag the family name through mud. We're going to lose our business. Like, if we just... If we kill him, we're done with it, right? I wrap my arm around him and I say, Yes... But you can see here that Councilman Tugan is in on the plot, and we are going to need to wrap him up as well. Look, if you can do away with my brother and keep this off my family, I'll make it 20 gold. I look at Dirk hoping that he'll do the right thing, but I'm willing to back his play no matter which way this goes. You really, really want 20 gold. Ah. Uh, 
so so the the, the deal is 20 gold if we kill his brother and we don't have him like we'll be able to go and be like hey look we found this book of demons right but this guy doesn't want us to talk about that he doesn't want us to say that we found it here in his desk tie it all back that's, i mean that's fine i i i don't think we need to publicly oh we need to just start killing them that's what you think yeah yes 100 james like, how yes, far does our have... authority extend here can we literally just go we around have, and start killing the point of critical mass we there is a chaos cult here in the who city. do we it's report to, to? that's all we i'm saying sigmar yeah but, <laughs> but i mean in a secular and a non-secular way who do we report to <laughs> I mean, look, it's, it's your, your adventurers. You don't have any sort of authority that's being given to you that's reckoned. I mean, the point point is that like, oh, if all these people that are, that are councilmen, for example, then uh, you're going to quickly find yourselves at the end of a noose if you start killing these people without, you know, without some ironclad uh, stuff behind it. Yeah, well, and so, so here, here's the thing is we have, we have ironclad evidence on two dudes. Yeah. Uh, Franz Steinhauger and Johannes Tugend. Yeah. But the problem is one of them is the Senate. Yeah. Well, that's and so we so here 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 here's what I here's my suggestion. We go kill Franz Steinhauger right now. And then we go find um Albert Kessel. The witch hunter. Yes. He left earlier this day and was traveling north along the road, I believe. That's gonna take a while. He was trying to buy horse as well. Yeah, and we were, were making jokes that it was he was going to kill his captive, but there's no, we have no way to know whether that's true or not. Sure. I don't, I don't think bringing Alfred Kessel back here is in any way. So, all right, then, then, then let me pose this question to you. You're asking how far does our authority extend? Yeah. The real question you need to be asking is how far does the corruption extend into the city government? Because if the top is corrupt, it doesn't matter what what authority we have because if if the person who's in charge of everything here in the city is a part of this th then it doesn't matter wh whether or not we have the authority to do the things we're doing i slam my hand on johanny's broken desk and i or on um uh Franz. franz's broken desk and i say damn it i said earlier i was gonna go to the streets to find my answers and i'm gonna Hold the letter that names Johannes in my hand. I'm gonna say, I found those answers. I can't back down now. My hand will be trembling with rage, righteous rage. All right, we'll kill your brother and whoever else we have to kill with evidence to tell someone eventually. They're but we'll try to we'll try to keep you. Yeah, we're gonna clean the city up. We're gonna try to keep your family out of this. Um, so where are you heading to next? Because we're about to finish up, but I want to get one last thing in. Yeah, we're just going to ask him where his brother is. Yeah, where, where's your brother? So he can yeah, he, he should be at, at his home. He, okay. he, at our home in, in the in the adult ring. He wasn't planning to do anything for Schaffenfest tonight? Uh, I don't think so. Unless, I mean, this look that this note you found implies that the 12th bell, that's midnight tonight. Like, I don't know if he'll be at home or whether or not he's involved in whatever this is. Yeah. Uh, he should, like, if he's not here, he would normally be at home. Your other brother is 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 he a member of this uh, charitable organization? No, he's he's been okay. he's been out of town. Um, he's he's been living in outdoor, sending us um, uh, like Good. organizing trade down the river for about the past well two years. Good. Okay. Does your brother have any other enemies? Someone we might pin this on. I. All right, at this point, I'm rolling my eyes. Pin this like <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the wall safe. How many numbers is it? Uh, well, I mean, it's like is in how many different numbers? Yeah, like is it three digits? So it go it goes from from um one. It's one to nine. Right. You don't know how many different turns it will take. Oh, okay. I try. Uh, uh, you wouldn't be able to do zero zero seven, huh? You also couldn't do seven seven seven. Well, you could, right? You do seven, and then you go the. Seven, 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 yeah. yeah, I try yeah, seven, so, seven seven seven. I don't. I don't know if you know the way that the safes work, but you do. So, say say it's a three digit number. Mm -hmm. You would do three turns right to seven, two turns left to seven, 
one turn right to seven, one turn back to unlock if that's what you were trying to do. Yes. Um, that's, that's how safe work. But yeah, no, you, seven, seven, seven doesn't get you in. Okay. We try his birthday in reverse. <laughs> okay. no, how I'm much sorry. time do you want to spend yeah. trying to brute force this save? Yeah. <laughs> James, I've played Escape Simulator with you. I know you'll brute force this save. I've seen you do it. Uh, brute forcing in escape rooms is when you have you have three out of four numbers and it's like I'll just try every number for the fourth one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean we made it work more than once. Yeah. All right, so I think we're we're about to go kill uh kill Fran Steinhauer. Okay, so you're heading to the adult ring. That's the that's the next place you're heading to. Which wow. is down the road. Because you're you're here and the outer ring is like here. So how convenient. The outer ring, which is also where Johannes that's his home. It, it, it's it's like the noble district. Basically. Yes. Yeah. Plenty plenty of guards around when people scream bloody murder. Mm -hmm. We're definitely not walking into a trap either. So as you're heading on the road towards Yellow Ring, like a young child walks up to you, like he he, he looks at you from across the road and then comes running over. Uh, are you Dirk, uh, Iron Becker, and Lord Ludger Barrel Rider? Yes. I have a message here for you. He holds out a piece of paper. From who? Who's it? Um, Councillor Megirius. Oh, Jesus. Interesting. Okay. So that's a guy that we know from Johannes' own testimony is a member of the... Yes. Okay, all right. Well, we... well so he, he said... Yeah. yeah. So the letter just says... Explosive runes is a spell I know. It explodes in our face. <laughs> no, the letter says, I understand you gentlemen have questions about the Auto Septenarius. Meet me for a, a late dinner at the Golden Trout in the Outer Ring. <sighs> How long ago did you get this to send to us? Um, about, I've been looking for you for about half an hour. And you looked for us here, why? Uh, I mean, I started in the outer ring and I've been making my way out, you know, so effectively he looked at the outer ring first, he was going through the the, the merchant district next, and then he, sat, then he saw you. Do we have any reason to think that, that was, that's bullshit in any way? I mean, it sounds normal, but I'm just asking you, James. No, no it seems okay. like the, the, child, the child is not a, not a plot. How does... I mean, I'll be honest with you, Spoon. There's, like, basically no way, right? Like, this is obviously a trap if we go to this guy. Probably. Uh, the, other, the other thing is, is it could be a, uh, uh, a reverse by Tugan, who is like, hey, go investigate one of my rivals. And, and you know, try and pin this on him. But... You know, 20, 20 gold says I'm going to kill Franz Einstein. Do we want to split up? Uh, cover more ground? <laughs> I, I have to ask, though. I have to ask. You realize that, right? I have to ask. Even though, obviously, we shouldn't split the party. Um, I flip the kid one copper and I say, Thanks, kid. We'll head right there just as soon as we finish something up. Okay. Uh, I will. I will flip him another copper and go r run back and tell. Uh, uh, oh, a brass counselor, penny, counselor, counselor Megarius, that uh, we're on our way and to stay there. We'll do. And that's where we're going to leave it. But not before I give you guys a further thirty-five XP. Fantastic. How much do we need to buy a talent? Is it a hundred? Hundred. Well, I'm not gonna have enough. I'll be five short. Sheesh. We're uh, getting to the bottom of this, but Great, James. I love when the plot is so convoluted, I have no ability to follow it at all. But later, I'll be like, wow, that one small thing that you said was so relevant. 
But who could know the shovel of bullshit coming at us? We're, 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 putting, we're putting things together. We're putting things Are we? I can, yeah. I honestly feel like all everyone we're talking to is lying to us. Yeah. I feel like this goes even further. But, but that's only because it's coming from me, though. This, this guy is so ready to kill his fucking brother. It's so suspicious. I'm only going along with it because I failed my role rather than sit here and mad dog him and be like, so you really want us to murder your brother, huh? So that you'll be the head of the trading house. Wow. Yeah, I mean, okay, so, so here's the thing. Yeah, this dude obviously might have ulterior motives, uh, but we're pretty sure, we're pretty sure his brother is a, is a, a member of a chaos cult. Uh, so getting paid I was going to murder, him. I was gonna murder him anyway, you know. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we, we were gold. killing him anyway. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm, if we get paid mm-hmm. twenty gold, I can afford way better armor and a way better sword. Okay. It's like, uh huh. Well, what's our what's our odds on next week? Um, good. good, bad, ugly. So this will be the, for me, it'll be the 20th. Uh, no, that's good. That's good. Very well. i see you all there then. Spoon, yeah. my man. Yeah. That voice Before acting. The inclusion of enemy in, sh- enemy in shadow. Oh, enemy in shadow. What's next? Enemy not in shadow? Then enemy brilliant? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first of five books, right? Yes. Okay, great. All right. Unless anyone has anything else, I'm going to hit stop recording. Nope. There it is.